What is up, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Two Times the Grind. The big and it is episode 50. So I don't know why I've been so excited for episode 50. And that's wrong with me, <laughs> but I just think it looks clean. Delayed a little bit, but we made it. Yeah, we had um, a week off of the podcast, as I'm sure you're all aware. But to be honest, that week was very much needed for us. Uh, it was needed for me. Doesn't feel like it was enough. It does not feel like it was enough. Unfortunately. Um, but we just we just needed like a week of not having to like plan anything, to be honest, um, and get back to our baby girl and our baby boy. Sorry, already started. Oh. Yeah, that's see, that's noisy. I'm trying not to make noise. Sorry, okay. I will. I will. I will put this look. There we go. I oh, popped it in my pocket. That's clutch. Yeah. In I, put the pocket. In, I put it in my pocket. It's just the problem is I have like, um, it's actually a form of OCD. So yeah. I have long nails a lot of the time. I am like a picker messer. I have to yeah. be like doing something with my hands to think. And yeah, so. That's okay. It's one of those things. Anyway. um, Yeah. I'm sure you guys saw that we had quite the uh, send off to the event <laughs> with our little family. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Almost didn't go to the event. Yeah, almost really. Just, I, I almost didn't go. You, he, I, would, he probably would have had to have gone. Um, no, I was thinking about not going. I know, but there's three other people depending on you. Yeah, but you know? we, we were qualified no matter what. That's where I was kind of like, I could have, like I was thinking of double checking with 343. Yeah. Three, like we should be pretty good off of points no matter what. I think it, depend, but, I think it depended what happened, Yeah, right? It's like yeah, depending on the, the worst. Info. Just give you some scenario. context. Not everybody yeah, might know true. this. Um, so leading up to the event, literally the night before we left, night before um, we were supposed to leave, uh, Bailey, our dog, our little border collie, the youngest, she is three. She um, started to become extremely unwell very quickly. Mm. Uh, went from absolutely fine to extremely unwell in the matter of, like, I would probably say like two, two to three hours um and yeah it was just very very scary we had to rush her to the um emergency vet and get her seen she was in quite the state wasn't she we were in an absolute state i was terrified she was vomiting blood sorry for the tmi uh pooping blood um her gums were white like when i tell you white as a ghost like like white and her tongue was white by the time we got to uh the emergency vet and then she had a severe temperature as well um Mm. for a dog her size and age scary very bad temperature too which luckily by the way any dog owners um uh, this might sound also horrible but i would recommend because this definitely saved this probably saved her life to be honest yeah, i think actually i think when, when we saw her vomiting blood i think we would have taken her but yeah but if the, she didn't the temperature if she didn't we wouldn't have definitely helped gauge yeah. how serious it was but get a thermometer a regular thermometer you can buy at walgreens label it dog <laughs> that's what <laughs> so we you do know. So you know. um and what you should uh. do as a responsible owner is take their temperature on a normal day so you know what their normal temperature is and unfortunately it is up there uh rear end yeah you have to take the temperature they won't like you too much um and then when they are sick or you've you've got a funny feeling they could be sick or something it's a really good gauge on how how they're doing yeah um so yeah that definitely saved uh probably her a world of pain or hurt or just i don't know god knows god forbid yeah (laughs) the worst but yeah she was very very poorly she had something called hge which i'm glad that the vet was able to kind of figure out very quickly and it's just something that unfortunately i'm sure you guys can google it but it's something that you can't really prepare for there's not a really real reason for it just scary like just no no reason at all like just yeah and most dogs the scary thing is the most most dogs die from that because of the dehydration part of it Mm -hmm. they dehydrate really quickly because they're just vomiting and you know all the other stuff and the temperature the fever yeah Yeah, the fever she drank a bunch of water and immediately immediately came um, up she never drinks a whole bowl of water she's a little and often type of girl and she drank an entire bowl of water Water, and then within yeah. five seconds just it just poured out of it didn't yeah. it? it was like a tsunami it's a nasty part it was oh it was nasty anyway yeah <laughs> sorry tmi but she's all better now but we just yeah, had to was, delay uh, we had we, to delay things we had a flight in like yeah seven hours or something before uh, we were because we we're leaving really early in the morning and uh yeah just it was a uh, it's a very, very scary thing. It's very, well, we, I think the scariest know. part about it was the timing of it. Yeah. Because if we had gone to bed yeah. and then that had started, we luckily it started when known. it did. We probably wouldn't have known. And I don't know what would have we would have found in the morning. Mm. 
because of how quickly she was yeah. declining in a bad way. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. It was very, it's actually very scary to be people, a, a lot of people said to me like, oh, worst timing ever. Cause like we were getting ready to leave. But I, I did say like my outlook on it was like, I'm actually glad that we hadn't left yet. Yeah. Cause like if we were at the event <laughs> and got that text of like, that's happening, I would have been, I, oh, I don't well, know. I would have probably been on a flight home. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, like, I mean, how do you play or work or anything when that's going on? I mean, you know, Hey, some people have to, you know, but, um, yeah, it was yeah. it was very scary. Our dog is the like the car um, ride to the vet was not something you wish on people because it was scary. But yeah, anyway, she was not she was not very well at all. Luckily, um, she's all good now. And it's even worse when you get to an emergency vet at like 11, 12 at night, yeah, and, then, and then they take one quick look at her and they go, "Oh yeah, no, she's not good." And yeah. you're like, oh, "Yeah, okay." I already knew like, that, but I, like, <laughs> good. Yeah, you know, I was terrified. We yeah. were both shaken, and it felt like forever, didn't mm -hmm. it? Like getting like. Her, her in that was the longest like 35 minutes yeah. that drive of my life so mm. far that was horrid yeah. horrid but she's doing really well um now she's recovered really really well she's back to her full self um but it was just nice to get home and just spend yeah. some we're some down time to one bar her. on the battery are we yeah oh it's okay no, we'll, that's be right. scary. we'll be all right we'll be we're just talking about the event today yeah okay well i really hope that this doesn't story we, we've time's lost over the let's go to the event. we've lost the batteries for our spare our spare batteries no it's, it is story time this is what our podcast is it's is just know, a I full said, story time over. um but yeah so she's doing way better and for everyone asking when we got to the event it was really sweet like how everybody was like asking how she was and and stuff and our other very, dog very our nice. lab he was not happy at all he has got very much used to yeah. having his like partner in crime um, with him like all the time and he was apparently just super quiet wouldn't he cried he cried like i'd never heard him cry before yeah. like when we uh when we had left that when we left the house we called my parents luckily they're just a, a short drive away mm -hmm. and we we're like hey you know our other dog is uh his name's Ryder, uh and we're like hey like can you come stay at the house with Ryder? like we're we have to take billy the vet we don't know how long we're gonna be and like when we were leaving the house she he he cried like i've like, never it sounded like somebody was torturing yeah him. Like, it was really it was because he would He'd seen what was happening, so he'd seen her throw up blood, and even that freaked him out because he, he he wasn't freaked out with the other throw up that no, happened. Yeah. Sorry, TMI again. He was absolutely fine. He was trying to sniff it. If anything, I was like, no, disgusting. Yeah. Um, but when she started to really get really bad, he started really freaking out. He was he was like really on edge, like really worried, like hopping around, like jumping yeah. at things. Um, oh, bless him. Yeah. This is her, his best friend sister but anyway they're both really good they're really happy they're all good they're now. Sleeping. yeah so we had some nice time with them we let them sleep in our bed <laughs> yeah. we never really do that um we let them sleep in our bed and like we just we cracked we how do you cracked not how do you not time, how do you not time cracked. yeah how do you not though can't just can't to be fair i mean we have to look, have at, look after side, her a little really, bit yeah that. um but yeah just adore them and thank you for all the well wishes anyway coffee today folks we are trying another cold brew uh this is stock it's the cold brew you can find it in most um most stores it's very popular it is a very popular brand pretty sure they sponsor um, rexham do they i think so oh, i'm pretty sure that's cool. someone will have to double check me but i'm pretty sure i did not know you guys that. have seen me wearing a rexham jersey that I, I had no idea about that this one is the um bold and smooth it's not too sweet that's what literally what it says tastes not too sweet um it's low and slow and it's a 10 hour brew so nothing super super long but a really decent um cold brew and honestly tastes really good to me yeah. um i mean we've got it with i've got it with my favorite creamer which is chobani yeah. and i mean it tastes pretty good yeah yeah cheers cheers <laughs> go on you got a host now i've already been i've already been I'm, I'm waiting for you i'm seeing how it is I've already had a couple sips. It was nice. I enjoy it. I've had a couple sips. I enjoy it. There's some coffees like a good cold brew. It's just nice to have on a, oh, I I mean, say on a daily basis. No, I know. But what I mean is like just one that like it's no effort. You know yeah. what I mean? That like you just, okay, yeah. oh, I need a quick cup. I'm going to pour it, you know, because sometimes yeah. the other ones like you have to grind, you have to grind them and mm -hmm. you know, then, you know, it's, it can be a bit of a I process. Agree. Anyway, let's talk about the event. We will talk LVP. about the event. Before we talk about the event though, I just really want to quickly just say, we're going to run out of battery. Girl. No, we're not. We'll be fine. Okay. Um, we are very different vibes today. We are. Of our clothes, aren't we? I, yeah, back in the pocket. It's going back in. I'm going to literally punch you at some point. I really will. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. 
I'm because I'm not I'm not upset that you're doing it. I'm just telling you so you know because it's it's just a ta- we already talked about it. You already know. That's okay. No, no, I don't hear it in the you podcast though. Oh, do you not? Is no. it not there? Mm-mm. Oh, well I then I won't say it anymore. Because that's checked. the only reason why I say something. I don't care. No, it's not in there. I told you that before. I don't remember you saying that. Look at us. Man, our man first, brain. Our first argument on the podcast. Love it. No, I, I I didn't know that it didn't pop up. No, I know. It's fine. I know. Okay. It's probably annoying in your ears too, though, to I don't mind. It's okay, though. I don't um, care. But we have very different vibes today. You got the October October yeah, vibe. Yeah, I do have so the October never. vibe. Whatever, it's pumpkin They kind of go season. together, though. They yeah, are. We got the pumpkin but cream cold brew last time. It's not that. It's just I put a dark jumper on and I have dark lipstick on. Yeah. And my nails are red. I, I mean, it's very... Beautiful. Thanks. But it's very different vibe. You're still in summer. I'm wearing long sleeves no, and jeans. No, I know. But look, you just like... Well, it is your spring merch, to be yeah. fair. But I know, it's just a different vibe. That's all. True. Okay, let's talk about the event. Yeah. How was it for you? Would you say Did this you enjoy a, it? I mean, it is a spring It is, collection. but you're just like in blue and I like... I think this is like wintery though. Oh, people are going to call you out for your hat as well. I'm just supporting the game. No, the I know. Gaming, it's so funny know? though. Here, where was it that I saw somebody call you out? The podcast probably. I wear it like last podcast. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Am I wearing goes, a na- He's wearing am a native wearing gaming hat. I was going to say, am I wearing a native hat? I don't yeah. know. What, I didn't know what hat <laughs> I was wearing. <laughs> 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 Mm. At this point, your you know hats, I do that. Your hats are such a fixed part of your life that's like you probably couldn't tell me what brand of underwear you're wearing right now, could you? I don't know if I'm wearing any. To be honest with you. Really? You gone commando? Yeah, I think no so. way. Uh, listen, I'm trying to save laundry. Damn. Uh, you know when I go to a you're trying to save laundry. I'm the one that does the laundry. I'm saving you from doing laundry. Okay. Um, it's actually just laziness. I think I just picked up a pair. Are you really of, not wearing pants? I don't here? know. I can't tell. Hold on. We were talking before no. we started the podcast about no. like admitting to things. Yeah, like dumb things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. You, just, you go, I wouldn't do that. And <laughs> well, I just thought it was funny. You just did it. I just thought it was funny. You, he's commando what do you mean? right it's now. It's just funny. He's commando, it's guys. It's funny. <laughs> There's a difference. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Well, hey. Whatever um, floats your boat. What were we about to say? What was I about to say? I was just saying about somebody. I don't know. Because no, we just I just, transitioned just onto commando. Completely. No underwear. Um, I was talking about your bad. native gaming hat. Oh, I'm just supporting. No, I, I, I know. I, was, I know you are. I love. I love that you support. Oh, you know what I was going to say. It's about other sometimes people going. I go oh to, my sometimes god. Sometimes I go to an event. Yeah. Because you know I have a couple of different. I'll bring a couple of different <laughs> hats. I have one that like I'll go to the gym. You know, it's just a thing now. I can't help it. Like, especially with gaming, I really can't help it. It saves migraines. Save yourself if you need to. If you get migraines, because that's what that's li- literally why I started wearing a hat um, from the lights. Funny enough, you know about that because um, you get migraines from lights. Yep. But I'll uh, be at an event. And I'll it's go like, you know, obviously life. I wear like my hat, uh, you know, the snake mm. on it. And I'll be like, okay. Like, yeah. yeah. Like make, cause I don't, sometimes I'm just Not cruise sure control in the morning and yeah. I like, I'm like, well, at I events? yeah, I feel like you're really particular at events. I, I don't think you'd ever like make, a I, th- I don't think I would ever forget it, but like I just double check okay. and it's not cause it's not honestly cause like I love wearing like my hat but it's more so because like and this is like a behind the scenes thing for the podcast I can't wear like branded hats mm-hmm. you know like I couldn't wear like a golf I don't know I don't even know if golf is the best one I couldn't wear like a different company's well, yeah, you can't hat wear you know like what I mean a, yeah you can't wear yeah. a brand hat you have to wear like I have to wear either something phase halo or uh my own you Imagine know you so. mess up and you wear a native gaming hat yeah that's what like I mean like you know <laughs> But That'd be yeah, funny. it's funny, funny little um, thing. Yeah, it is a funny thing. Anyway, let's get on to the event because I am worried about this. Yeah. So, um, the event. What an event. Yeah, your worst placement this year. Yeah, it was. What was your worst placement this year and the one before Worlds? Feels like, um, sorry, you can finish your statement. No, it's okay. I was just going to say it feels really similar to like our Worlds placement like last year mm. where it's like, it's our worst placement, but we lost to the teams that got first and second. Yeah. And you're kind of like, well. Bracket got messed up, Yeah, didn't it? it's just like, well, I mean, you got to win it. But, it, like, the placements in yeah. this game feel very different. Yes. Because of pool play and stuff like that. But um, it doesn't make me happy about it. Last week we talked about the mindset before Worlds. Mm-hmm. Has your mindset changed because of the placement that you got this no. time around? No. Okay. Uh, we had a poor event, I thought. Like, it, it's funny because I actually thought we played pretty well on the event uh, up until our two matchups, which are our biggest matchups. I don't think we particularly played great. Go figure. You lost, we lost it. Um, but, like, we played Sen. I thought we played great against Sen. Um, we won a pretty pretty good 3-0. Played Native Red. We won a really good 3-0. Um, our Shopify series were both really weird. They played really great against us, but there, there was some things going on that were a little weird and made it like a difficult series or like some lag outs. 
Um, we like should have won an oddball that there was a crash. And to be fair, they probably would have beat us in the oddball if the crash didn't happen. So I can't even like say that, but mm-hmm. it was like, you know, it's one of those like weird series, um, in the losers bracket that was in pool play. Um, yeah. and then in loser bracket when we played them, I still thought we played pretty well. Like they, I just think I've said it the whole year. I think Shopify is really good. Yeah. Um, uh, can we, are we, can yeah. we pause on that? Because you're getting like a full, like, I'm just talking about the no, event for 100%, us. But yeah. There's things you're saying. I'm like, I want to talk yeah. about Shopify to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and word this really well because anytime I talk about a team, I just want to preface this, preface it, preface, whatever. I think pref- preface. I think it is preface. I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, not this again. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, preface, I need to drink. Preface. I need to drink at least half of this before preface, I start a podcast. Preface. To be perfectly honest, why does it sound wrong? I don't know, but words sound wrong to me a lot of the time, and I speak for a living, so that is such a damn shame, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, you sound great though. Thanks. It's the it's the accent. I think it honestly hides a lot of things. To be honest. Mm. Anyway, um, whenever I talk about a team on this podcast or any any time actually, even at work, I if things come across as like a negative which to be fair it is my job to talk about things in a truthful and yeah, informative positive manner and negative. um the good the bad the ugly you know that is what you will mm. see across all sports um yeah coverage broadcasts entertainment whatever it is you will see it it's the truth um but if there's ever like a sort of negative kind of vibe with it it's purely and normally because you expect more from that team or yeah. you expect them to be better than that. And to be honest, if I was a team and I was hearing a little bit of negative, like kind of talk about us or just energy, like I would be like, okay, fair enough. Like I listened to what was being said. You can disagree. That's totally fine. Mm. But if, if bad things were happening to a team in terms of placements and not doing as well, and good things were being said about that. I think I'd be annoyed more about that because I'd be like, is that honestly you think we're this good? Like this yeah. is the, uh, like this is what you think a high is? Mm-hmm. Like really? Like that would annoy me more than maybe a little bit more of disappointment coming across in terms of the criticism yeah. or like the actual breakdown of what's been happening. Does that make any sense to people? Yeah, I think so. I'd be Makes annoyed that me. people would think that that's my ceiling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd Rather be like, like, great, that's what win, you actually, competing for wins. that's actually what you think of us, you yeah. know? So I, don't think you ever I personally think, no, I know, I know but I, I do think that like there has been occasions, especially on broadcast on here, where I have not been very happy with Shopify in terms of what they've been doing because they've been really inconsistent. Mm. And I think for the names on that roster and for what I've seen them do previously with their inconsistencies, there's obviously been a couple of highs, yeah. but many lows and low lows with the highs i'm like damn there it is there yeah. it is okay nice like we like this but then they'll proceed then the event after to have a really poor performance um so i was really shocked with how good shopify looked actually yeah. um coming into the tournament through the open bracket and then coming into the main bracket i know that they were on i think the favorable side of the winner's bracket as it turned out Remember they won that higher um, part of the winners bracket. Yeah, but I think. Oh, well, yeah, but I think that they. I don't know who they would have played round one, but mm. they played native. Yeah, you could probably check it. Yeah. But they so played. It's okay, but everything. they played native red. Round one, they played LVT. Okay, so like they had a. Yeah. Then they played. That's quad, like, Then they played quadrant. That's like a hard. Yeah. Okay, so they're on the favorable side in the sense that like you're not playing, um, Sen or. SSG. There was definitely or, a favorable side. Yeah, well, because, because SSG, because the, the, the top three there were teams. two different sides. One had Optic Gaming, Space Station, Sentinels, and you. Yeah, the top four all landed on the same side, so which obviously isn't supposed to happen. 100% yeah. the top side's the favorable side yeah. because you're not running into yeah. round one, Optic or Space Station. Yeah, the LBT series. That was otherwise, otherwise that was their round one. Yeah, the LBT series is like one where like Shopify is seated higher. So you could say they're the favorite to win it. And then the Quadrant series, I mean, hey, they broke, they broke Quadrant Streak. Yeah. The strongholds and I mean, credit to them. You know, yes, they just... did. They did break Quadrant's uh, streak. And that's not me. I'm not trying to kind of belittle no, LBT but were, either, but I'm looking at in comparison to placements. Matchup, and, that Quadrant matchup, like, matchup it's just in particular. Facts. Yeah. yeah. You know, which would you, who would you rather have? Uh, LBT, no, no, optical no. space stations, not, round one. Not, you know, it's not comparable it's, it, at this point in time. Like it's just not. Um, but then Shopify went on to play Quadrant 3-0. Yeah. That, that was, was surprising. That and was that's really where series. I started going, hold on a second. Yeah. And I started perking up because yeah. I was like, wait, wait, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Um, these guys have been 
you know, they have been had such poor performances that they ended up in the open bracket for this tournament. Yeah. I mean, that's the best way to put it. There's yeah. no other reason for it. So for them coming into this and looking so good, especially against a, a team like Quadrant, that was really impressive. I'm actually going to have a look at that series um, because... The Quadrant series? Yeah. Yeah. So that was... They beat them on Solitude Strongholds. They had a crazy comeback. Yeah. So, so it was Live Fire, Streets and Solitude. Yeah, the, like that's crazy. Yeah. That solitude stronghold, two fifty to two forty nine. Yeah, Par apparently, I don't know if you it saw was like that. I didn't get to see it. To yeah, like one yeah, they had a comeback. Twenty or one thirty or something. Solitude's like that. You it's, put them in. You can put someone in a blender. I think hard. strongholds are like that, but solitude in particular is it, it can get difficult. And then I gotta say that speaking that from experience, Slayer was pretty convincing too. Fifty thirty. Yeah, I feel like when you win a really close game like that, I feel like especially when you're like heavily favored, like Quadrant would be heavily favored in that series, Strongholds game one, you're really thinking they're going to go up 1-0. I feel like that's just like a dagger. Like, I feel like it's like you're up 1-0, you have the momentum, you just broke their streak. Um, I'm not shocked to hear that game two is like a good a good game, mm. you know, out of Shopify. That sounds kind of how I feel like momentum would carry, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like if it was just like a whatever game one, like I'd be like, oh, wow, they really, they really beat them in that game too but because of the circumstances of game one i feel like that's kind of how stuff can really go you know I tell you what rain had a bloody good series though yeah yeah he had the Ten. highest uh kd in the lobby they're good man they're good yeah he um, i think that about everyone in infinite but I, he had a 1.26 yeah and nobody on quadrant went positive for yeah. the whole series i mean if you get three out you probably shouldn't be going too positive but no. um, the um i feel like this this tournament the you know what the big difference maker was mm. uh well i mean you know they beat you know i don't know because they beat two seeds that were higher than them as well they just because like so from a shopify standpoint i feel like the thing that was so difficult with them on the previous events on what you're saying that you were like kind of yeah. i don't think you were ever hard you weren't like harsh you just you harsh, expect them to be saying. Like yeah. you think that they can be a top four team. Yeah. So when they're not in the top four, you're like, what's expect you know, them to be competitive. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the thing that I felt like was, I don't know what the word would be like plaguing them, you know, yeah, at these play, events playing, yeah. was that they just kept, I feel like they just kept losing to like the lower seated team. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they'd play optic. Mm -hmm. I feel like they, you know, I feel like they were an optics pool, like every single event. And yeah. like, they would actually have like some close like, games game, and game. a good series and mm -hmm. this and that. But then they'd play like, Cloud Nine, and there's no disrespect to Cloud Nine, but I would have put Shopify above Cloud above Nine, Cloud nine yes. and like I would have, like especially heading into that, I'm like, oh, they're looking really good. We didn't really get to play Cloud Nine, so maybe that's an unfair comparison. But they were, I think, seated higher, so I could at least say that they are the favorite. And then like they lose like this crazy game five, like you know whatever, and it's like, well, shoot, like you know, like when, like okay, perfect example at Arlington. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, where did I been? I'm trying to think. Hold on, sorry. No, it's fine. At Arlington, we played Cloud9 to make it. Yeah, no, we did. Yeah. We played Cloud9 to make it into the winner's finals. So Shopify, like Arlington, mm. should have been in the top. If they win that game five, which they, like, yeah. they probably should have won, they are in the top six. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's just, and that's that's where I feel like they, they're so good. And it's like, I just think that's what was, I can't remember the other events, but I feel like something really similar happened where they were having like these crazy brackets. Um, and it was kind of just not panning out for them. But yeah, happy yeah. to see them do well. I think Me they're too. a great team. We've been saying it really all year. Too, yeah. yeah, I was really impressed with them. What a, you know, peaking at the right time, starting to get some excitement behind them yeah. uh, for the final one. Um, I think what we should do is speak about certain teams yeah. and then continue on through do the next couple the next weeks yeah. and talk about other teams you know, because it, we can spend quite a long time. Yeah, let's talk on about each team. But I definitely want to talk about one team in particular in this podcast, okay. which that? is Optic. Yeah, I mean, okay, that's I perfect. feel like we have to talk about Optic I, right now. Let's finish up what I was saying about yes. us. Then let's go to Optic 100%. and then the next events. The next go next events. The next uh, thing we can talk about. It. Love it. Um, yeah. So I was just wrapping up with us on like how I thought we played pretty well on the weekend. Um, the frustrating thing for us is like we just got to keep working on our map pool. Uh, we lost two strongholds, we lost two kings, and we lost a street slayer, you know, and it's like, we are really confident on those game types. Like, I think our slayer record in particular speaks for itself, it's but funny enough, street slayer is probably our weakest. Um, but, you know, like, it's one of those things, like, I'm not, I can't act like I'm happy about it or whatever, but I'm, I'm going to try to look at the, what's the phrase, like, glass half full, yeah. you know, like, yeah. 
I still am super confident. I feel like if you put different game types in front of us, I feel like we have a much better chance. I would say we went that we would win because I think that's just like kind of like whatever. But um, I think if you put different game types in front of us, I think that we are still super competitive. You know, we beat Optic at SLC, which was three weeks before the, you know, it's like, it's not like there's this huge downtime where like you've fallen behind. It's like, no, you yeah. just, you, teams are playing better on the day, game type surf factor, yada, yada. Um, but for us, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to try to look at it as a positive um, and just hopefully it's the kick that we need to get some of our game types in order. You know? Yeah. I, I have to say, I agree with you, especially with the game type situation, because I mean, you look at the grand final and with it being super exciting and, and it went all the way and yeah. we, we love to see that heavily, you know, part of that was heavily to do with game types. Yeah. You know, you look at the first one, it's a four and oh, it's a clean, yeah. it's a clean sweep to get into the next one. And then optic suddenly is able to have a competitive series and mm. then go on to win. And it's, it's a, a lot of that is to do with game types, yeah, you know, thing. it's, you know, they weren't in it for the first series because it just, things weren't working out for them uh, yeah. in terms of how it was set. It's just reassuring when like you have something good for you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I don't, I, I have to go look at the series layout to know specifically if like, I, I do get what you're saying. Like it, you know, if you're getting like four would like it's probably somewhat favored for the other team. Yeah. Espe well, especially then back to back, you literally have a yeah, second then, then series you're playing right a second after series, and, and it's you like, see such I know, a difference. I was watching like formal stream, for example, and like, um, I don't know how they look, this is, I'm on a different team. So take what I say with somewhat of a grain of salt, but I was on formal stream and I remember him saying, I think he's being serious. I can't always say, you know, for him or for other people, but, um, he was saying how much he loves pit. And like, it's funny cause like we're talking about <laughs> game types. Game one was pit CTF. Yeah. So it's like, like, okay, you have a bad first series, but then like the second series is something that like again, I don't know whether it's actually yeah. true or whatever, but like maybe it's something that like he loves or they love or whatever. And it's that, okay, okay like, nice. all right, like now, okay, we got Re something that we like, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if that wasn't, I think the first series was very close, even though it was 4-0, but um, yeah, game types are obviously a factor. It's yeah. always going to be that way. That's why I'm definitely a pro veto system. Let yeah. it be strategic um, rather than a random draw but that's besides the point we'll talk about that another time i'm yeah, sure when we need we something to talk maybe get, even well, in the off season or yeah. even in one of these leading up to it we'll yeah. see um but we'll we'll definitely dive into vetoes and yeah. how it work in, in an ideal world yeah what your it'd be interesting, to talk, about. It'd be interesting to talk about it would be very interesting um and that's not because we lost by the i just want to make sure we say that that's not i've been saying this for oh it's been the two years of you infinite said it uh, after the last year i said uh, it last year i said it this year I said, yeah it's just it's just a thing yeah. so don't i don't I, but also it's the thing for everyone everyone wants that pretty yeah, much yeah i mean from what i've heard and from what i've gathered yeah i mean yeah, anyway, we, yeah we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about another time. time i just want to make sure i say it. it's not because we lost and i'm no. like oh man like i wish that we had it's like i just want to make sure i say it. i've been yeah. i've been saying it. i i, agree. I well, promise Vito's i promise a, you i've been saying Vito's it is a combination of both teams uh, dislikes and likes. Yeah, so exactly. It's, uh, ma it makes sense. No, you know sense. what I'm saying, though, because someone will take that the wrong way. Everyone like, will take everything the wrong way. That's fair. I've learned that in life. Uh, jumping into the topic of optic. Yes. Uh, damn. Damn. Uh, it, you know, it's funny because people, you know, just Twitch chat and social media, people are just so quick to just... You know, we know this. People are just quick to judge and quick to say this and say that. What about optic? Yeah, just well, it, but they were, no, but they like, were performing pretty badly. They were, they were, and they weren't though. Like you well, got, you got to look at it. like okay, like this is the thing. Okay, that did get six. That was at Arlington. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this is the thing. Like, and that's not me. No, but like, being, like but you nasty. have to. I just think for, for them, oh, for them. I just think like there were certain situations that like, damn, like we should be doing this. No, like, why? I, I understand why mm. the thought is there, but this is like what I said. I, I, I don't think I said after Arlington. I think I said after SLC. And I think I even said on the podcast where like, it was like people were like, ooh, because we, you know, Optic had lost to SSG and they lost to us. Yep. They get fourth. Again, same thing, thing. Same thing as yes, us. It happens. But what I was going to say is people were like, being really negative still about them, which cause like, uh, cause they got fourth and you know, they got sixth and they got fourth and whatever. But it's like, when you go and look at it and you're like, Oh wow, they were up two against SSG. They lost game five. They were up two one against us. They lost game five. And it's like, I get the freak out of placements. Same way I feel about people with us. Like, you know, it's like, I get the 
they got to do this. They got to do that. They got to do this. They got to, but like the reality of it is like, it's actually so, such small margins it's tiny. that that's where I say, like, yeah. I do understand the criticism. Same thing I for us. I just like, don't think there's a criticism there. Well, there no, shouldn't but be. Like, there's a it difference. Just, all it is, is that they just had poor placements. I think that's yeah, the best thing. To exactly. say. It's just poor placement. But that's the, all it yeah. is. And the reason I'm saying that is because like, you know how it goes, like social media. It's just oh, like yeah. everyone, it just gets so like well, so negative. People, and people some people are, might not tune in and then they just go and look at the, the, the final results and, and they go, like, oh, oh yeah. they got this. Yeah. Oh my God, they, they're washed. Yeah. It's just not true. It's like, well, simply not up, true. It's like, well, they're I don't know how many times I have to say <laughs> on a broadcast how highly competitive this season is that things like that can happen. Um, I mean, you go on to win back to back and then you come third, you know? Yeah. I mean- same, and then you go and get fourth. I mean, it's the same thing, but you're lo- who are you losing to? You're losing to two, you're losing to first and second. You're losing to first and second again. Yeah. I mean, it just, it is what, it's what happens, yeah. you know? It's even just like, even insanely for, competitive. Yeah, and like, I think the thing with Optic that I guess you could say people were concerned about was like, they were just having a lot closer of series with like every team. Yeah. You know, like Nate yeah. Red took him game five SLC, but like, this is the thing. I just feel like the game is that, is that way right now, especially without a veto system. Like without a, especially without a veto system, a it's like, at times. Hey, did they get their best game types? Did we get our best? Like, okay. Like, you know, and at the end of the day, the best team wins the tournament. That's my, I truly believe that regardless. Like if you have, if you're the best team, I think that you win the tournament. Like I can't have any other thought. Right. Yeah. Um, but when you're, you know, so it, there's not really like an excuse for it, but you know, it's something that is a factor and something that we're dealing with. And yeah, I just thought they had a great performance. And it's funny because like, you they know, did. they got three out by Quadrant. That series was crazy. Like Quadrant were just, I don't even know. Like I thought Quadrant about to like go to the finals, like literally because um, of how well they were playing. They ran into Shopify, which cut them down. But um, <laughs> Shopify had but, it, but it's, it's like, <laughs> that's infinite. Like it's yeah. crazy. Like it's literally crazy. Yeah. Um, but it's it's wild, man. It's it wild because we because we, it's impressive, we it, it's, impressive. It's, imp- it's impressive on their it's impressive on their end, and then on the flip side of it, it's, imp- it's impressive on the competition end. Yeah, I mean, I remember walking to finish our pool play on Saturday. Obviously, we we're playing against LVT or um, Shopify, excuse me, and Optic G One Game Five, and I'm like, wow, like, and I know G One's a good team, you mm-hmm. know, because we we scrum against them and everything. I know G One's a great team, so not I, I went. I'm like shocked in the sense of like I expect Optic to obviously win, but like oh another game five, like not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised in the sense of like the same way we go game five of Shopify. I'm not surprised by that. No, you know it's I like agree. I don't want it to happen. But the uh, the bounce back that they had, then they they play Cole, they throw them, they throw us, um, then they play SSG. Uh, probably a big mountain for them to finally climb over. Uh, they were up two zero again, went game five again. And this time they closed it out game five. Yeah. So definitely a big, big mountain yeah, for them. Yeah, very, very yeah, big mountain. Confidence booster for them. Huge confidence booster. Um, I think it's really cool that we're almost seeing a little bit of like history repeat. I mean, last season they did the same thing. They came third and fourth in the two events prior to the penultimate. And then in Orlando, was they won third, Orlando. Yeah, they had oh. third and fourth, I believe. Or it might have been second and no, third. No, second and third. Second and third. Yeah. Um, so second and third, and then um, went on to win Orlando and then Worlds. Yeah. So it's really, well, for me as a broadcaster, it's a really cool storyline, especially like when they had one, I was like, you like know, this is, right is kind of crazy that yeah. this is happening again. Um, and it was just like getting it together at the right time and doing what you need to do as a team to overcome certain things. You know, that I, I was also questioning at one point with their placements and just like the really close calls and the yeah. margins and just certain plays not working out. You know, when you actually break it down, just certain plays not working out the way that they wanted to. Yeah. And, you know, I was, I was, I was wondering... Like critique of like their communication yeah, being wondering a different. Like, you know, if, if some teammates are trying to go in different directions yeah. in terms of what they want to do, they're trying something new, it's not working. Um, getting back to the same page as a team and investing into one way. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that Optic have, have done really well um, over the course of their in Halo Infinite career as, a, as this yeah. roster, is that they have been all in as a team. Um, I feel like they have invested into a certain way of playing and they don't let up on that. And consistently for them, that has worked out in their favor and they have done really well with it. Um, and I feel like they found it again. I feel like what we saw from them at the tournament in certain ways was just a really consistent way of playing yeah. the game again. And I think that's just something that is a massive strength for them. I think they're all capable of putting and pushing egos to the side or pushing 
something that they might like you said, see. You e- e said egos. It yeah. sounded like you said eco. Oh, did it? Yeah, egos. That's well, your accent. That's he, your accent. They did push e- eco to the side, I suppose, in the grand final. Um, eco Smith with a 50 bomb, man. Damn. Separate time. Separate time. We'll, different we'll story. We'll talk about SSG next week. <laughs> yeah, we'll different, talk about, we'll different talk, story. But he is... Ridic- I mean, they, is all, ridic- they all are. It's I just know. every Rid- player ridiculous. on every team are just in there going like, wow. Ridiculous. Wasn't yeah. it? Absolutely incredible. And also love love Kevin Smith's dad. Oh, me He's too. Also He's awesome. also awesome. We'll talk about Space yeah. Station uh, next week. But, you know, I think pushing you goes to the side, having a lot of discipline, I think that's something that they did to re- to kind of like reclimb and, and and get back to where they were previously. I, I was really impressed with it. I was also so impressed with Formal. I think he deserved that MVP. Yeah. Without question. He was fantastic. I mean, he had such clutch moments, yeah. um, key moments to winning series and winning maps. Uh, great numbers consistently throughout the series and the tournament. But just, I felt like, I felt like we just saw a whole different kind of, I don't know, version of him at this tournament. I, mm. I felt like I really saw like a somebody who's really keyed in yeah. to like win. I felt, it, you know I, what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I honestly felt that way at SLC about him. I thought yeah. SLC came in very, very locked in. Uh, if you go, if you go back, I mean, I, you know, I watch a lot, a lot, yes. like more than you health, like health wise probably yes. should. Yeah, you um, do. But yeah, he was playing great SLC. I feel like he just kind of carried that momentum in, but I mean, probably even a uh, tune up, you know, like you said. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's ridiculous. I mean, he's ridiculous. I just we, love know, we know it. We I know. We know about him. One of, the, one of the goats. Can't, yeah, he you know, is just. Ridiculous. I don't say that lightly. You know how I feel about that word. But Call of Duty champion, Halo I champion. I mean, you can't. I think you can't deny no, he's yeah, a I mean, console. Just, yeah, one of the console yeah, goats. It's just, it's just it's, like because it's fact. across yeah. multiple things. Halo, so. Call of Duty, multiple Call of Duties. You know. Yeah, I mean. Just impeccable. Yeah. In- insane. To keep that level of competition yes. is, you know, I've been, do- you know, I can understand it because I've been doing it in Halo for a long time. Switching titles is a whole separate thing, but um, yeah, just credit to him, you know, staying, staying like that through all the years and being super locked in. It's not, uh, it's not easy to do. You it's know? really not easy. Um, I actually got to speak about him uh, for content. I won't say what it is, but yeah. I got to speak about him for content. And I really enjoyed that actually, because it's so easy to talk about people who are so good at what they do. It's just the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. The cr- criticizing is the hardest part for me is like when something's going wrong and it's like talking about what went wrong, but talking about what is so damn good about somebody or a team is so easy. Yeah. And for him, it's just like second nature. I yeah. mean, you just, you could just name so many different things about how good he is and across his career. Um, yeah, he's he's he was just amazing. I I personally think he is even better than he was when he started in season one. Even winning that world championship, I think, I think improved. I think so. Yeah, yeah probably. I think I so. would probably say. Um, I think everyone else around him has improved, not just his team, but yeah, his every player. opposition. Yeah. Uh, I think we're seeing a whole different reach yeah. of. I don't of, think like, I don't think that's competition. that big of a stretch to say, just because mm. he was new coming back into yeah. halo so like i don't think it's that crazy to be like he's probably better the same as ever the same as everyone else is because the game's out longer but just him like fundamental wise for halo um i think infinite really hit well with him where like i think yes. he just got it right away you could tell i mean you can't you can't go and um join our team on three days of practice and go and get fourth you know the way that we did and then he goes to optic and gets third and then wins the back-to-back tournaments you can't you can't do that no. if you're not ready for the game but yeah i don't think it's a stretch i think 100 percent. yeah i think um, again you say it about everyone but for him in particular that extra time on the game is going to be a factor i think the other person i want to talk about on optic is apg um the gangster yeah new homeowner APG. new homeowner Shout out apg congratulations congrats apg Proud you. For happy for you both brand new house yeah um we know that we know the feeling i think we do i think there's been like a lot of i just there's been a lot of stuff that has been said about APG yeah, online that I just that's don't what I'm like. Saying. It just, sucks. Just how it goes. Like you know, there's always somebody that they want to call out for something yeah. or whatever. Like like you said, the criticism yeah. is just ridiculous. The stuff that APG does for this team is so important, and he has some great moments that I'm like, are you watching blindfold? Yeah. What are you doing? I mean, even so, the commentators are popping off about it. I mean. People, I just don't understand that at all. And I just, just, I I like, I think, I think this is what's the easiest thing to say about that. 
Okay, the easiest thing, because we could go on all day about how good yeah. he is and what he does. Well, he's a champion. He's, he's you can't, amazing. You can't deny it. I mean. Exactly. But that's the thing, right? Yeah. To win, especially in Halo Infinite, mm. to win at this title, to win an event, every mm. single player on your team has to be doing what they need to do, has to be on it. So if APG wasn't a good Halo Infinite player, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. This wouldn't be real like yeah. they wouldn't have won like, i can't back. They stress it back. to yeah. you enough like i mean they wouldn't have won they wouldn't have won no. worlds to begin with if and he then, was even average know. they wouldn't win yeah. i mean no, he's a fantastic just... player and to be a champion you have to be a damn good player like yeah. there's no other way to put it's it it's just especially on, in this title online is all right, i say online um online criticism is you know we say it every all the time when we talk about stuff it's just People look at stats and I know, it just makes me so mad and it's though. Like, it makes it's just, me so mad. I, I read so stuff and I'm like, oh God. Most of the time, Idiots. most of the time, <laughs> if a great player, and this is no offense, you know what, forget optic and I'll say something for myself, right? Mm. I, actually, I've, and I've said this before. It's like, if someone who's good at the game is like, in your mind, not doing well, okay, first of all, you don't pick up on a lot of the small things that they do that make a team great. That's something that APG has a quality. I, I like to think I have that myself of like rotating and stuff like that. Eco also has Eco, that at times. You know, like there Eco are a few, there are a few like players that... Neg, double neg. But it's like he's but making done, such smart decisions. Huge that, things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but people just look at stats. So that's not a factor. Like I told you before, you could die five times rotating an oddball and you're negative five. Like, you know, yes. it's like, but I die, you, you die five times playing the ball and it's like, now you're neg, you know, now you're neg 10. It's like, it's just, yeah. you know, you got to get kills with it. Most of the time, the way that I look at it is that if great players ever appear to be struggling, I put appear because people look at stats and think that person is struggling. Even, even being like people were saying about APG, like, they would lose and people are the same negative as him and he's somehow still catching fly. It's just online hate. It's hard to deal with. Um, you know, you just, I think he did a great job of just saying like, kind of, you know, forget about everyone else. Like I'm just worried yes. about me and the team. Um, feel bad for him. Said to him like, you know, people don't know what they're talking about. No, you know? they don't. It's they just, say it to you. They say, they say about me. They say about anybody. anybody they do. Anybody, anybody, they said about bound. Yeah. They say about bound, bound, you know, they say, I mean, it's just, it, it's like, they said about stellar. This is like, like my, you know, this just, is my motto with this, yeah. right? This is the, this is what I think those people need to really abide by. If you can't do it better than that individual, zip it. Nah, but people like, people don't. hate that though. Cause like, Why? Nah, Cause they're like, so you tell me I can't critique people? Like, I, like I'm a fan of the game. You tell me I can't watch it. I'm like, well, no. You can like, critique, but you if you're can, just like, it's just the if you're hate. horribly, it's just, no, if you're it's horribly just wrong hate. and also just, it, like you said, fueled by hate. Yeah. Nah, because nah, I don't even mind. Welcome. I don't mind criticism. Like you yeah. can critique my gameplay. You can critique players' gameplay. It's just the overwhelmingly negative, like hateful messages. That's that what are, I mean. That, yeah. but that's what I mean when I say it. Like, when don't, I see like don't say actual don't speak horrible don't say things, yeah. like like that, and I'm like, if you can't, like, there's no way you could even be this way anyway yourself. And you're like, yeah. set, you're getting personal. Like, no, yeah, don't. No, nah, it's tough. It's just online. It's, people are big on a keyboard. You know, it's just yeah. how it goes. People, keyboard warriors. You know, I agree. It's best to just ignore it. You gotta ignore it. Yeah, I think criticism is fine. Um, you could be a fan of it. You could be a fan of your team and critique and say, "Oh, 100%. I wish we did. I wish we did this a little bit better." Yeah, and this I, and that. I completely agree. But when it's like flat out, like just being like so drop this person, blatantly, they suck. Yeah, stuff like that. No. It's like, well, no, no they no, don't. No, no. no, they do no, not suck. They don't suck. You're so, an idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know. So like, let's really like I, let's try to have an intelligent I comment here. I completely agree. That's the thing. But yeah, that. Honestly, that win from Optic, super impressive, really exciting. Um, I think it was really cool that it was in, in Texas too um, because their home crowd got to be there yeah. and see that. So that was really nice. Um, but yeah, really impressive stuff. I'm really excited about Worlds because it's just going to be a brawl. I just feel like there's so many teams that can win it. It's going to be crazy. It's the same thing I said. You know, I was like, you, you want to win. You want to win Fort Worth because you want the momentum going into it, but I think Worlds is going to be a battle. It's going to be a massive I battle. Think it's going to be a battle. I think um, we will end there yeah. just because of the battery. Yeah. And it's around like 45 minutes. I mean, we, so. talk, we talked about um, talked about what we were talking about. But next week, let's discuss Space Station Gaming mm. and we can choose another team to also discuss as well. We Native can. Red. Yeah, we could definitely discuss Native Red. You just came off a scrim with them. So, you know, kind of what's, what's up with them right now. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll talk about it. Um, but let's rate our cold brew. Do you want to go first? Or you do you go, want me first. To go first. Okay. I mean, this is a solid eight to me. I wish I went first. I was going to go with an eight too. Oh, that's fine. You can go with an eight. 
It's just good. It's, it's just good. great. It's just good. You can buy it doesn't it. let it's you down. It's convenient, you know. Doesn't like let you that's down. what I was saying. You know what you we got getting. our favorite coffee creamer in it. Like yeah. it's just You know what you get. Yeah, it's kinda of banging. Like you just chill day. Drinkable. Yeah. Not too sweet. That's what it says on it. Yeah, it is. It's great. So yeah, you're so, solid, you're solid. so cheesy. You're cheesy. Solid eights all around then. <laughs> okay. Um I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 50. Let us know your thoughts and opinions on everything that we discussed. Um, obviously the first like two teams that we've discussed and kind of the event in general, but there's, there is a lot to break down for yeah. this event. There's a lot to talk about. We'd have so like we're just going to take it slow. Podcast yeah. talking about like, the whole thing. To do it justice, we're going to take it slow, go team by team. And like when things enter our mind, we'll talk about mm -hmm. it. Um, but huge congratulations to Optic for yeah. just big, the bounce back, just a huge bounce back. And, I just think it was, you know, there was no doubt that they couldn't do this. Mm. It's just cool to do it the same kind of time that they yeah. did it in season one. So that's really, really cool. Absolutely. Um, but huge congratulations to them. Absolutely incredible. And hope you guys have a fantastic week. And we'll see you next time. So 51. as always, stay on the grind. <laughs>